Viva la France! Hi you guys, today on Tactical Rifle, we're going to compare that the French MRE against our American made MREs. We know this is dog food. Let's see how good this one is. But first, a shout out for this week's sponsor. Hey, I'm just posting a story on Riffsy, the app. Uh, what I like about it is you can do it anywhere. You literally can be anywhere. If you find a cool story anywhere on the internet, uh, BBC, it can be anywhere. It really doesn't matter. You can then riff it and post it on Riffsy, which is kind of cool. Another thing they also have at Citizen Reporter where you actually write your own live stories. Um, that's cool. So if you're there when something's happening, you can do it. Freedom of expression is not censored by anybody. Uh, it's the democratizing of engagement of the news. You don't have it. It's not cited at all. It's also self-moderated. Um, Riffsy promises that they will not moderate anything except like porn, illegal activity, stuff like that, right? They will not delete not a, not a single post or accounts at all that they don't agree with because it's okay to not agree with everybody. You don't have to agree, you don't. There's no cancel culture. It's just news picked by us, by you, by me, by anybody else. You post it on Riffsy and that's kind of neat, don't you think? Riffsy, it's just a free app. You download it on your phone, go. Do it now. Hey guys, one of my loyal fans, my uncle uh, James Swain from down in Texas, he uh, sent us a French MRE, All right? Um, okay, uh, French individual reheatable combat ration menu number one. This is actually um, meatballs uh, with pasta. All right, so I want to compare it to an American MRE. So I dug through a bunch of cases that I have and I came up with menu 18, which is a beef ravioli in a meat sauce. Now, uh, I, I know a lot of you guys are vets and a lot of you that were never even in the military, you have played with American MREs before. MREs are good for stockpiling, stuff like that. They tear open, they've got all the calories and it's all already cooked food. All right, so keeping it in your vehicle, snowstorm, stuff like that. All right, um, start looking at the, the newer MREs for my really old guys out there. What this is right here, guys, is a, this is a heater, chemical heater. Kind of works like a hand warmer, but a lot faster. All you do is you tear off the top of it. We're gonna take that main meal, all right, which is nothing more than, this is our meatballs with pasta right here. I'm sorry, beef ravioli. You just put it in the bag and then all you're gonna do is you fill it up to water and it says right here, do not overfill. You want your water line between there. Roll up the bag, put it back in the box and sit it. Now you don't want to heat this up like in the water that you're gonna make your coffee in because all of these cardboards and plastics are all covered with rat poison to keep the cases of MREs from getting eat by rats, all right? So don't ever reuse that water. What, if you're gonna boil these to warm them, that's fine, but it comes with a good heater. The heaters work great. Um, make sure you're doing it in an open area because uh, you know the privates would actually wet these things, put them in uh, three liter, empty three liter water bottles, uh, Coca-Cola, whatever, and they would blow up like a bomb. It, uh, they're pretty cool, okay. I know what that thing tastes like, and um, thank God we don't have smell-o-vision, right, that you guys could actually soak that up. But it's edible, it's edible food. You don't have to heat it up, it's completely cooked right now. All right, we have got uh, toasted corn kernels. Why? Because it's America, right? So uh, what do we call them in America? What do we call them? We call them uh, corn nuts. Yeah, you, you get them at the gas station. Literally, that's all. This is a big bag of corn nuts. Knock them in your mouth. It's junk food. Why? Americans, junk food. All right? It's okay. Um, if you've got junk food, you got to have health food. So, another container of raisins. Guys, that, that's right. That, that's... <laughs> 
Those might be raisins to some people. That's not a raisin where I come from. It's not. That's more like, um, you know, you get a lot, of, you have that first apartment you ever lived in, it had all the cockroaches and everything. Are you, know, you cleaning out from under the counter? That's about what that looks like. No, I'm not putting that in my mouth. Uh, and then uh, they've got to hit you up with your wheat bread. The army started coming out with their breads instead of just crackers for a hundred years you always got crackers in your C rations um, and M uh, MREs but now they started adding shelf stable bread you can take one of these things you can sit it out in the woods and you can come back and there's not an animal in the wild that will take a bite of that I just want that to sink in it's not bad I actually like them all right um, but it's uh, it's a it's an acquired taste. Here's the deal. If you're eating MREs, it's because you're deployed somewhere. Maybe you're in anger school. When I went through ranger school, it was one meal a day. And uh, you didn't miss out on anything. All right. Uh, what do we got here? We have got... I, I'm going to put my glasses on for that one. Sorry, guys. I'm dating myself here. I'm 56. You got to cut me some slack. Cheese spread. Now right this is famous you've got to have your american cheese spread uh, and there, there are stories of like um like gunny hathcock the uh white feather sniper from vietnam he would just take crackers and cheese spread and um it's it's okay the cheese is okay this is one of the only things in an mre that has taste all right uh, it's kind of like wick cheese that you would get uh down at the shelter it's okay. Uh, it's not. It's not bad, but it's definitely. It's good enough for Joe. It's good enough to put the calories into the bodies. You've got a beverage-based powder, tropical punch. All right. All right. What what is that, guys? That's that's your Kool-Aid mix. It, they try to make it like a powdered Gatorade. You get your electrolytes in it. Not bad. And then the mother of all accessory packets. Back in the day, we would actually get little little bottles of Tabasco sauce. Now you get a little packet of Tabasco sauce with a picture of the old bottle on it. And we literally used to get little bottles of Tabasco sauce. I used to fill them up with sand from the Holy Land and stuff to bring home. Um, you get a little thing of Splendor. You guys understand God made salt, pepper, and sugar. He didn't make NutraSweet or anything like that. He didn't do that. All right, um, your non-dairy creamer, great for making fires. All right, I got another one I need my glasses for here. Coffee, instant type three, freeze-dried. You guys know I love my coffee. That's not the most appealing sound to me, but uh, it, uh, but the reality is it is, it's coffee. It's instant coffee, uh, but you're still getting your caffeine. There should be a little moist towelette in here for cleaning your hands. Why? COVID. All right. Um, no, the reality is you need to clean yourself up a little bit. Uh, iodized salt. The military got away from putting salt tablets into their meals, but you will always, no matter what MRE you get, and it, it changes a lot from MRE to MRE, you'll always have a packet of salt. And I know all the health guys say, well, you got to cut down the sodium in your diet. No, you do not. Not in the military. If you're exerting yourself, sweating, everything, uh, a lot of times guys will go down from heat exhaustion, but other times guys will go down from their electrolyte levels just being completely whack. And the first one that goes out is the sodium. So salt packet, good to go. You've got your famous chiclets, two of them. Um, they, you know, they look like the teeth that Z knocked out of his uh, head with the saw. Um, these are great for uh, bribing kids and stuff overseas. And last but not least, the most important thing in an MRE, you get all of 10 sheets of toilet paper. That's it, guys. Try wiping your ass with 10 sheets of toilet paper. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. You realize how big my ass is, and this is all you're going to give me after eating that? Uh-huh. Now, the reality is the military MREs are designed to be um, basically to stop up your plumbing. They, you don't, if you eat nothing but them, you're going to have 
you're going to be backed up. You're not shitting in the field. You're really not. And uh, which is good. It gets you through the mission. But then at the end of the mission, just understand you've got to give birth to something the size of a, a loaf of bread. All right. And uh, but that's it. Right. That's uh, that is our American MRE in um, in abbreviation. All right. Um, we got one other thing that was in here. See this right here? You look at a historical photos of Joe in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, wherever, and nine times out of 10 on the front of his body armor, front of his kit, you will see a MRE spoon stuck through a zipper somewhere, stuck into, the, stuck into his body armor. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of old pictures of me up on the mountain or wherever. I'd have a toothbrush stuck there for cleaning my teeth and cleaning my weapon, all right? And a toothbrush for digging holes in the ground for burying my trash and for eating my food. I didn't say we were the most sanitary people on the planet. Um, these are awesome, all right? Uh, it's, it's about the only really awesome thing in it, MRE. That's pretty sad. I'm talking about uh, our, our food and the best thing in there is an inanimate object that you can't actually swallow. All right, cool. Hey, I'm ready to break this puppy open just like you are. But before we do, let's take a break and let YouTube hit you right in the face with a commercial. Hi guys, welcome back. Let's get into this puppy right here, all right? Now the French MREs, these are designed to be single box per day. So there's actually three meals in here where technically an MRE is designed to be one meal. Now it's it's still close to 3,000 calories, between 2,000 and 3,000 calories, and it varies per American MRE. Um, I mentioned in ranger school, you only got one. Uh, and, and if you, you go into winter, you get two, all right? Um, but uh, this is designed to be a, give a, French soldier, one of these, pass them out, and um, okay, you know, and the, the French, they're not really known for their combat capabilities and everything, um, you know, why'd they plant all those trees down the center of the roads there in Paris? It was so the next time the Germans come, they can march in the shade. I got that, right? But what are the French famous for? Fine cuisine, all right? So, um, that's why I didn't eat a lot of that other one because I'm actually looking forward to this. Now, I'm sure that their soldiers are probably just as sick of their rations as the American guys are sick of theirs. Now, you saw all of my brown packaging inside the American one, right? Because we, the Americans, we even camouflage our trash, right? That's, that's how mental we are, all right? But uh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? That's kind of sexy. All right, so we are going to start this up. I got the guys on, my French is not that good. So I'm going to try to hit it with my best uh, redneck French accent that I can pull off. All right, uh, right off the bat, we've got our mix mousselé. Uh, it's an energy breakfast. Uh, I, I imagine that's going to be like a chocolate oatmeal type stuff made by MX3. Nice, sweet. I know it's got a soup right there. Um, uh, maybe you guys can make that out, but, uh, I can't make that out. I can't make it out, but I know it's soup. I'm sorry. It's minestrone, AKA for us Americans. So translate that minestrone soup, cool, cool, cool beans. This is mix drink isotonic sport. In other words, that's that same little thing of Gatorade mix. That's important, right? That is in combat zone. Got to have it. This is a plum jelly, plum jelly to put on. I'm assuming we've got crackers or bread in here. All right, we're gonna spread all this stuff out. Uh, please put English on the other side, guys. All right, this is biscuits de Campanaghi. All right, no, I don't know. It says three satchels. I'm sorry, three, three satchels, uh, two biscuits with chocolate, three satchels with two biscuits, salted biscuits, and two satchels of biscuits with cereals. 
I'm not really sure what that one means, right? Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into that one too. Basically, we got three different size, uh, three different types of crackers, and a lot of them. I've been told that they've got sweet crackers and salty crackers. I'm gonna assume that those three are one. Those three are another, and then I got two that look different. Okay, I'll take your word for it. All right, um, they do have an accessory packet. Let's bust that out last. Uh, this is a 21 gram combat fuel energy bar. This one happens to be banana flavored, not against bananas. All right, I'm good with that. Another, uh, another bar, this is, uh, they always have like a nougat bar. It's a really, really sweet bar. This is a fruit nougat bar, uh, 30 grams. Okay, it's got peaches, grapes, cherries. All right, we'll see. You gotta have chocolate, where's my chocolate at? Here is a, a coffee flavored energy bar. Not very big, but uh, use the word coffee, I'm, you, you get my attention. All right, we got a pate de fruits. It feels like another, another fruit bar. Okay, it's got peaches on it. Like peaches, I can deal with that. This is a Mont Blanc chocolate cream dessert. All right, I'm, I'm digging that. I, I guess we get a little, uh, a little, um, a little K cup of uh, of chocolate pudding to have with our dessert. We've got. I um, see. That's what I'm talking about, right? Instead of ten sheets of toilet paper, I've got a whole stack of folded up napkins right here, right? Why? So you know, so you can get the crumbs off of the corner of your mouth while you're eating. All right. So uh, we're, we're going to be using all of them. Uh, this should be my pate. Right? No idea. My uh, French. Roulettes de poule roti and marmite. Okay, shit in a can. We're gonna find out with, uh, what that is with the spoon. We'll put that out. So that is our mystery right now. I got another bar. We dig our bars. Chocolate Noor. This is 65% cocoa, 25 gram bars. So we've got, if all you did was toss all this stuff in the trash and just grab your five energy bars, um, dude, that's, that's, that's a bunch of stuff that I could take up on the mountain or go to the hide site with me. So I like the way they think so far. Here's the cool part about these MREs and the weight, you notice the size wasn't that much bigger than, than an American MRE. Um, but there's a lot more weight, but it's a lot of the weight's not coming from the cans. It's not because uh, the other, the American MREs still had tin foil and everything. But this is our uh, Gratin de Macaronis au Buff. Okay, sounds good to me. And then we got another one. Remember, this is three meals. We had our starter meal, which I. We would, we, we, in America, we would call that breakfast. All right, and then this is beef kebabs, and then there's another one that is beef macaroni. So that's not bad, right? Um, just looking at the pictures, it's looking a lot better than what that MRE was. So I'm excited about them. And then, last but not least, all right, I'm gonna toss my box off to the side. Remember how the, the American MRE had that heating bag where you stick your meal in there and you pour in a little bit of water and it works like a hand warmer? Every French MRE comes with a little folding metal stove and little stove and it comes with six trioxane tablets. These are tablets uh, these are heat tabs. You light these with a lighter or matches. You're going to sit them right in the middle there, and then you just put your can right on the top, guys. Not that hard. And one of these tabs will heat all of this. You take it off, 
and you know if you wanted to heat up your soup right our minestrone soup uh, we could heat up another one so anyways there are six of these in here so basically two per meal if you only need one for breakfast to make your coffee um, it comes with six uh, water purification tablets so basically you could treat six liters of water now I'm, I'm I mentioned this soup okay uh, you notice it doesn't come with like a, a nice soup bowl it doesn't come with plates and silverware and everything um, you technically could eat this first and then cook your soup inside of it. But the, the reality is all French troops get issued, uh, you get issued your, basically your mess kit where you've got a bowl, a cup, and uh, your knife, fork, and spoon, all right? So that's how we're, I don't have that. We're gonna use a, a, a standard mess kit, um, canteen cup off of an American canteen. All right, uh, and then we've got, which is, it's kind of cool. That's a lot of stuff. Inside there was also in a cute little Ziploc because remember, you got this has got to last you all day long. Four toothpicks, I'm sorry, five toothpicks. Why? Personal hygiene's important, right? You can't be out there picking up French chicks, uh, you know, with a, a, a piece of uh, pate sticking between two of your teeth, you know? Um, and then it comes with, uh, not a, not a lighter, uh, but a box of wooden matches. That's totally badass. American MREs, we get these cheap wooden, uh, cheap paper ones and, um, they're just not decent. They're really not. Uh, but these, this looks like a decent set of matches. Ma matches are a cool thing to have in your bag of tricks. You can actually make, uh, time delay firing systems for explosive charges with these couple cigarettes you can get all kinds of we can go medieval with half the stuff i've got here right now all right this is a little folding handle uh, that you can use for holding on to our our things right here all right so um so you don't burn your hand while you're doing it lots of fun stuff that we can do with our kits all right, we're gonna just hold on to that puppy like that. Well, we got it over the stove. All right, so the stove kit, I think is a big step up over the American kit. Our drones are better, our air force is better, our artillery is better, all of our guns are better. Come think of it, all of our military is better, but so far they've got us beat hands down when it comes to the chow department. Yep. All right, uh, last thing is their, their accessory packet, sugar. Why? Because we got coffee. You actually got two things of sugar. All right, I'm going to toss my matches back over there. Two things of sugar. This should be salt and pepper. Yep, pepper and salt. You got a couple of those, pepper and salt. Why? Because God made sugar. God made salt and pepper. All right, you've also got this one thing I think is cool is... Um, this one right here is basically hot cocoa mix. Okay, completely good with that. I like hot cocoa, especially if you put it in your coffee, you make a mocha. All right, we're gonna dig in two things of 100% Arabic coffee. All right, you gotta have one for breakfast. One for breakfast. And, man, it just goes on and on. See, this accessory pack actually has things that I might feel that I would actually use. That's kind of cool. All right, and then I believe these are tea. Yeah, these are two different kinds of tea. Sorry guys, my French is terrible. Two different kinds of tea bags. All right, um, what do you say we actually try tasting it? We're gonna do that, but before we do, let's give uh, YouTube one more chance to get a commercial in so they can get paid. See you back in a minute. Uh, good morning, guys. What do you say we start off with breakfast, right? Now, I don't get issued French mess kit gear and uh, fancy stuff, so I'm not using the U.S. Army canteen cup. Instead, guys, I got a jet boil stove and uh, a couple whiskey glasses good enough for me. Uh, round canopy parachuting team, me and my son parachute with that, and uh, any, any whiskey glass that's got the Special Forces crust on it is good by me. So first thing in the morning, you know, we're going to have to start off. We're doing coffee. We definitely got to do coffee. 
right? You got to, right? Because if, if all of a sudden we got to jump in the middle of a gunfight, if I'm going to miss out on anything, it can be the rest of it. But let me get my coffee in me before you start shooting at me. Coffee, I know I'm going to need sugar. Why? I'm gentle. I've been told I'm not sweet enough. Let's go, let's go fully France, fully France, and we're gonna make us a mocha cappuccino. Mocha. We're gonna pour it all in there. That's a lot of love right there. All right, I saved my, my trusty MRE spoon from the US military that has never let me down overseas and I've got boiling water here from my jet boil. I hope my glass doesn't shatter. All right, that seems pretty good. Mix that up, we're gonna let that soak in. Now, if you're gonna be in France, you gotta do, the, you gotta do this stuff right, man. So while that is soaking up, right out, right out of the cafe, guys, in London, right out cafe, we're gonna start us a nice glass of tea also why? Because if you're going to put a beret on your head and talk like that, you've got to be drinking tea bags. All right, so got my bag of tea. And we are going to take some more of the water. Oh, yeah, we're going to let that puppy. Yeah, you know, I probably should have saved the sugar for that. What do you think? Forethought. Oh, the good green tea, look at that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna let my tea soak so I can get all the caffeine out of that puppy while I'm sipping on my coffee. That's actually pretty good. All right, but where I really needed that water and I just finished it off is my breakfast meal right here. All right, you tear this thing open and what it is, guys, is it's basically like rolled oats with chocolate in it. All right, if I had some milk, I'd want to pour some milk in that. Um, can you see that? Right, don't that look good? All right, but I need some more water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more water to my stove. While we're heating that up and while we're letting the tea soak is I'm going to bust out my nougat bar here, fruit nougat. All right. It don't look bad, does it? You can, it's almost like a toffee. And you can see the fruit in that puppy right there. That's not bad. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. And then I, you know, I had to divide all those energy bars up between the different meals. So I saved this one right here, banana flavor. Why? Because um, that fruit kind of sounds like it would go more with breakfast. So, you know, even with my COVID, I, I can still smell a little bit of that, all right? It's, um, I won't say it's an overripe banana. It's more like a uh, baby food banana, but it's banana nonetheless. And then we've got a bunch of the chocolate crackers, all right? Um, they were broke, a couple of them were broke. Understand this MRE has been tossed around a lot. All right, my water's boiling, so I'm gonna turn it off real quick. And I will pour in just a bit. I didn't need a lot, all right? I might need a little bit more than that. I do a lot of freeze-dried foods, but I've never done, I've never done um, French freeze-dried foods. Okay. Americans normally do like a cold breakfast, unless you're doing like, um, Oatmeal, and I would not call, we don't put a lot of chocolate in our oatmeal, uh, but that uh, should be soaking up. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I, let me see if I put that right there. See if that'll stay, that could happen. All right, and for breakfast, I also grabbed my plum jelly. Why? Because it's plum jelly. We're gonna try that on my chocolate crackers right here. All right. What do you think? Pretty good, ain't it? That's actually pretty good. All right, all right. Banana bar. 
Let me cleanse the palate. Not as good as my coffee, but they're French. Banana bar. I'd take that up on a mountain. I would. I'd, I'd take that to the sniper hide site. If you got to draw down on somebody providing cover for the assault force while they're doing a hit, that's the kind of stuff I'd like to have with me. That's pretty good. My nougat, fruit nougat bar. Guys, that's more like a dessert. That, that's candy to eat while you're doing a road march right there. You understand? I'm going to share all this with the, with the film crew, just not, not these two. They can have the crackers and stuff. All right. Um, I think I added a little bit too much water to this stuff. But basically, this is what you're looking at. If I lay it out, it's kind of like a like an oatmeal cereal. Not quite as thick as American hot oatmeal. But um, again, it doesn't have milk or anything. It has like chocolate milk in it. But just eating it was. You can tell the oats are just starting to get cooked. So it needs to have sat longer. But all in all, I could muscle this down right now. I would probably eat both the bars first, eat my crackers, and then the time it took me to do that, this stuff would be ready to go right here. That's pretty good. Now you're done. You finished everything. You finished your cup of coffee. You've got your napkin, pinky sticking out. Make sure the pinky's sticking out so you can get the corners of your mouth real good. You kill off your coffee. And then you finish up fine dining with a nice cup of tea. I, I'm a Southern boy, I understand. We like, uh, we like our sweet tea, uh, but this is actually pretty good tea. I, I'm not bashing y'all out there. This is good. Angry American would like this tea right here. All right, that's good stuff, guys. And again, this was just breakfast. Uh, the, uh, the good stuff's coming lunch and dinner. So I'm going to swap this out real quick before I do that. Well, I'm swapping. Let's have YouTube slap you one more time with a commercial. It's high noon up on the mountain. It's time for lunch. All right. Um, Gatorade mix. I'm big up. No matter where you're at, you've got to have that stuff. And the cool part is you can be drinking this while your water is boiling. So um, I mix up my Gatorade mix. Kind of looks like an emergency. That's actually looking pretty good, guys. And it's got, it's still got a lot in it. So I imagine I can add even more water to that. We're going to thin that down just a little bit. And I wish I had water up on the mountain that cold. Wow. All right. Um, it's, you understand it's been three hours since my last cup of coffee. So we're going to do coffee next, right? We've got to get these beverages rocking. All right. Second pack of instant coffee. A meal, a military ration that has got more than one serving of coffee in it. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know how they're not a superpower. I, I don't, I really don't understand it. I really don't. All right, and we're gonna throw my last packet of sugar in there. Again, people complain, Carl's not sweet enough. We're gonna pour just a little bit in there. Mix my coffee up. Right there. Black Rifle Instant Coffee is the best I've found, um, but that's, that is good. That's good, in, as far as instant coffee goes, that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna let, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna let this mix just a little bit more. And what I've, I've put over the stove here, and, you, and mind you, you've got to actually use the handle, uh, the metal handle to hold this thing. I'm hoping, it, I'm hoping it's cooled a bit. All right, is, I'm gonna put this tin. Now you open this puppy up, I'm gonna pull that whole lid off so you guys can see the full Monty here. That's about as far as I'm gonna get people. 
All right. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. All right. We're going to try that real quick. I got one of my beef kebabs. I'm going to have to do that again. Here's the cool part is I don't know if that's eggplant or what kind of vegetable that is, zucchini, something. But it's got, you can tell the difference between the flavors, like from the kebab tastes different from, from the sauce. And it's kind of like um, Chef Boyardee you get from the store in America, which is still light years ahead of an American MRE. So that's actually pretty good. I see myself finishing this, I really do. Here's the problem though, is my film crew is all sitting here and they are getting hungry. My son has already eaten everything from breakfast. He's already cleaned it all up. Mm. I'd take that on a trip to Moab, I really would. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up for air. The other things that I saved was some of the crackers, a couple packs of the crackers. Cracker before, now remember there are three different kinds of crackers. And um, I'm gonna, I, I don't know which flavor is which. One was marked chocolate, so I, I expected the breakfast one to taste like chocolate. It's more, yeah, it's um, not overly salty. A little sweetness to it, not bad, all right? Um, but definitely something you'd want to put something on it. Our tin of mystery. Hmm. Guys, if I could if I could read French, I, I could tell you what it was, but uh, let's just open it up and see. All right, ooh. You want me to tell you what it actually is? Okay. Um, first, it looks like cat food. Um, I want to say it's, um, first I was thinking it was fish, but it's, it's like a, it's, it's like liquefied chicken. So it's kind of like a spread that you would, you would put on crackers. I just happen to have crackers. That's got to be a step up. Let me put some of this. I didn't know I had appetizers now. Look at that. Oh, divs. Again, pinky out. At first I would have said that I would toss that can, but that on the cracker as a spread, that was actually really good. That's good stuff right there. All right. Um, the rest of lunch, and again, you don't need salt and pepper to season that. You don't. Um, but they, it's good to have it there as an option. I have two of their little bars. I'm open my little fruit bar here. And again, understand, for me, these bars are just stuff for me to stick in my pockets to get me through the rest. Wow, that's like pure uh, powder-coated uh, fruit right there kind of like a one inch thick fruit roll up. Or like a, it's got a gummy bear texture, but it's um, a fruit, it's kind of like a, a one inch thick fruit roll up. Okay, not bad. And then my other bar, I felt like, um, crackery almost like it had a um like a kit kat to it it's four blocks one of my blocks is already broken off and so another way from the outside it felt wafery weight wise no oh, um dark chocolate wafers in the middle and then it's got white chocolate I'm not going to call it white chocolate. I will call that chocolate that has been in an MRE for too long. 
Now, uh, chocolate, when it gets old, it gets uh, like a white powdery to it. So as much as I love chocolate, I'm, um, we're going to call this one a fail. But just this, even uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised by uh, the chicken cat food on the crackers. That was actually really good. I'm going to grab some more of that. Mm. Just making me want to go stand guard on the Mackinac line. It really is. Mm. Instant coffee that... Um, you know, in the field, when you're, when you're out, you're doing maneuvers, it's okay for coffee to taste bad. When you're working in a police station or something, it's, or the op center, at, you are working two o'clock in the morning, it's okay for the coffee to taste bad and burnt. Look, this is actually pretty good coffee. Guys, of this, and again, this is lunch, I see myself finishing all of this except for the chocolate wafer bar, but uh, the kebabs. All right, um, we're gonna break for a commercial real quick, but uh, and so my film crew can finish eating all this stuff because they're all they're all like drooling and stuff. Uh, we'll come back. Let's do dinner. All right, hey guys, dinner time, right? That's when you're supposed to have your best food, good sit down dinner. Right, you know, you roll up to the fancy restaurant, you get out of the limousine. Let's start, we're gonna start off with our soup, right? Gotta have that appetizer. And I'm gonna pour my soup into my glass right here. Uh, so far I see dehydrated carrots, dehydrated peas. And sit that back down. I got enough water for my soup. And we've got our second sachet of tea, another tea bag. All right, so we're gonna let our tea start soaking. And again, hot water. One thing I found was I, I enjoy using my jet boil stove. Uh, it is much, much faster, uh, especially when you're, when you're in your man room and uh, you don't have a lot of good ventilation. But the, the Espit stove works very, very well. But these tins are not made to be done on a jet boil stove. So if I had taken them and emptied that into a better pan, it would have worked better. But with this Espit stove, there's enough room there. Uh, but I'll tell you what, cooking this thing, uh, you're going to have to, uh, as it's cooking, the bottom will start burning. Uh, so make sure that you're attending to it like a good chef would. And um, my first observation of it is, I've, you know, I, I thought it would be just like the other one, right? Kebabs with macaroni. And then this one is beef and ma macaroni with beef. But, um, you know, I, guys, you look at this, that is a real chunk of like cut up roast. And uh, pasta, we'll do the beef first. You ever bite into like your grandma's roast and it, it kind of like shreds apart in your, in your mouth, like all the, it just kind of separates, it's good. Tastes like beef. Um, the other thing we have is, remember, they, they gave you uh, three, six, eight separate sachets of crackers, three different kinds of crackers, and um, I don't know what kind these are. I just know they're not the chocolate ones, And but I have my chocolate pudding here, assuming that's what that is, and... Um, Bill Cosby be liking some of that right there. Now you have to share Jello gelatin. Try some of that. I know that's dessert. Oh, that's pudding. It's one of those consistencies on the whole planet. Chocolate pudding. When times are tough, 
you can always count on some chocolate pudding. I wish I could do better, guys, and tell you um, what everything says in French. Uh, little did I realize that Emery, you know, another one of our guys on Tactical Rifleman, uh, among all the other languages he speaks, he also speaks French. So he's been making fun of me and how I pronounce a lot of this stuff. This is my coffee or chocolate energy bar. Smells like coffee. Tastes like coffee. The U.S. Army has these, um, what, are, what do they call the, the ration bars? They're, they're like, um, you get them in the chow hall. They're, they're like a hero bar or something. It's, it's like a, a yeah, no, but it's an energy bar. Power, it's like a power bar, but it's, yeah. it's like a, you know, the government with the, with the lowest bidder. Yeah, it tastes like they went with the lowest bidder. This is actually, this is actually really good. Film crew's going to want that one too, guys. This one right here, once you get this thing hot, this puppy stays hot. And, um... The problem I have, remember I mentioned you got to stir it. If you dig down on the bottom, I burnt a lot of it because I wasn't paying attention when I had it on the stove. So I've only got about half of it that's not like seriously crusted to the bottom. Again, my fault for being a dog-faced GI and not knowing how to properly prepare French cuisine. Mmm. Soup. I was expecting the soup to be more just a broth. And uh, this has got like little slices of pasta in it. That uh, You can actually smell the tomatoes in this. It's like a Lipton cup of soup. I'm not blown away. I'm sure I'm, I didn't put in the right amount of water either. But um, not bad. I could see that this would be a good soup if properly prepared. Not bad. I can deal with that. All right, guys. So let's wrap this up real quick. Um, for all my French uh, brothers in arms over there, yeah, I know I've made fun of you for the last hour only because you guys make it really easy to make fun of you. But understand, uh, you know, we do support the French military. They're one of our allies. And, you know, I, I would love to fight alongside you guys. Um, but I've never, if I didn't know they had these good MREs. Otherwise, I would have been swapping cases of MREs with them. American MREs, um, I'm here to tell you, I would tear an entire case of 12 MREs apart just to get the three or four items that I wanted to put into my mountain rucksack before we got on the helicopter to go up to the mountain on the Pakistani border, all right? We would bring a lot of mountain house meals with us that were freeze dried. We would bring uh, civilian energy bars, things like that. And we didn't have, we didn't have choices like these. So um, yeah, your, your Navy may be um, not a deep water Navy. You're, Military may not be um, all that, but uh, the, the French are very well known for their food and their MREs have not let me down at all. I wish we had smell-o-vision and taste-o-vision where you guys could actually taste this stuff. Compared to a U.S. Army MRE where everybody's turning their noses up at them, as a Joe in Desert Storm, uh, all the way up through the, the end of the global war on terror, uh, Sometimes that's all you got, and you were happy to get it. You had favorites, but no matter what you got, you muscled it down. I imagine after a while, your taste buds would rise up a little bit, and you'd get tired of eating this slop, too. But uh, right now, this is a big step up over the American MREs. I hate to say it, guys. This one, the French won. The French have finally won a battle. That's all I got. You guys know the deal. Leave your comments below, and, uh, you know, I read them. I do, and uh, again, let the hate mail start pouring in. Y'all take care and shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.